Hi everybody. Look what the UPS man just brought me. My new computer. I'm going to do a box opening right here of this new Ryzen computer. Now the reason why I bought a computer is because I've been using a laptop on my YouTube channel and it's actually a Celeron with Windows 8 and it can't handle the graphics and I can't live stream and if you've maybe seen me try, I keep trying to, to set the settings and I can't do it. So what I did was I got a gaming computer. Let me show you what this one is. This is a Ryzen. It's made by AMD. For gamers, I'm not really a gamer, but you have to follow the gamers. If you want a live stream on YouTube and you want awesome render rendering for your photo editing, that's the Ryzen symbol for AMD. Look, this is a uh, it's an ABG PC Mac series GTX 1050. That's the NVIDIA card. It has the NVIDIA GTX 1050 2 gigabyte. This is not the latest technology, but this is about a year and a half to two years old. So, which is all I needed for being a video YouTuber and uh, filmmaker now. I just wanted something that would be able to render my editing faster and, and be able to, where I could at least live stream without freezing and have my audio drag and lose frames and stuff. This has the Ryzen 3 series 1200. It's a four core, 3.1 gigahertz. Now I can overrun that, kind of turbo it, till I think up to 3.7, 3.66. But I was just talking to the UPS driver, he's a gamer, he said if you actually up the clock in your BIOS on your NVIDIA card, you will play faster than if you just Turbo your CPU, your processor, your core, your four core processor, even though Ryzen's is extremely fast. I don't expect any problems just being a YouTuber. Um, 240 gigabytes SSD, 8 gigabytes of gaming memory, DDR4, and it comes with Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. Now, the reason why I got this computer, I shopped around for about a week watching videos on gamers and you know they're playing video games at 4k 168 frames per second and I've heard you can go up to 300 and something frames per second and all kinds of insane speeds but on YouTube if you're in Creators Academy and you listen to them they tell you the standard right now on YouTube for someone like me that's always recording in the office studio talking to people just talking on the camera if I interview people or if I live stream or if I'm filming something and I upload it and make a, and edit a video 1080p with 30 frames per second is the standard. So 1080p with 30 frames per second is the standard. So this came also with Windows 10 Pro at 64-bit, and I'm hoping it's got the Office Suite in it. I don't know. But I've also got a TV, which I'm going to use as my monitor that I've kept since I don't watch TV anymore. Let me show you. I have this, uh, I have this Dynex. It's a 1080p television. But it's got the, uh, it's about eight years old, but it's it's still got the HDMI plug. And if that doesn't work, I've still got the monitor plug. Some RCA jacks and things, but uh, why not? I'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to order a monitor. But this is going to be an awesome monitor, 1080p on my desk. Okay, so I'm not worried about that. So let's open the box. Let's get to the actual box opening. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me drink some courage here. I've got my serrated steak knife. The UPS driver actually knew a lot about computers. He, he, he was just sitting there in the steps of his truck, just talking to me outside my, my house. <laughs> just going, yeah, man, you, hey, if, if, if I'm not taking up your time, I, I guess he was taking a break. But he said he's got a Ryzen uh, 7 series, and he's got a lot more than this one's got. But like I said, for just being a YouTuber, this should be quite sufficient to live stream and render better. You know, what used to take me, by the time I filmed something, got it uploaded out of the camera, into the computer, took it into my editor, started ed editing, got the editing done, between all the clicks and cuts and pastes and, and effects and things that you do and the tracks and the sound and measuring the volume and the, whatever I was doing, you know it would take me three, four hours to get a video done. This should cut my time down to an hour, hour and a half per day where I can make videos every day 
And now I can also do calls with people and collaborations where we can do a split screen and interview and it shouldn't interrupt the speed, shouldn't drop frames, it should be very fast. So here we are, <clears throat> right at the beginning it comes with foam layer. Now on the inside of this box is another box nested inside. How big is that box? My goodness, hold on, I'm gonna have to pull out the first box. It's almost as big as the outside box. Okay, there's three more boxes inside. We'll get to those. Okay, I'm gonna let this first box go. All right, now. Next box, it's like a Russian doll. Okay, let's see. It's the Intermax Grace Front, Grace Fun Front. All right. Here's the model number. It's the ECB 3090. It's an ATX Micro ATX Mini USB 3.0, one one USB 2.0, and two HD audios. It's got. Uh, I'm not going to read all the specs. Let's open the box. Okay. This also came with uh, the keyboard, of course. It includes keyboard and mouse when you usually buy uh, a CPU or a processor tower, you know. This is, in this little box, a power cord. And I don't know what that is exactly. Someone probably could... I've seen that before. What is that? It plugs... It's got a plug on it. I forgot what that is. But maybe if you've seen that before, comment below. By the time you comment, I will know already. <laughs> so, and this little box, which is a mouse. Let's see what the mouse looks like. Oh, it's got a decent mouse. It's got a decent mouse with a good grip. The roller. Side buttons and top buttons. That's a pretty good uh, laser mouse. Plugs into USB. All right, put the mouse down. Okay, so those are the things it came with for your accessories. Now, let's open this box. slide this out. Let's do a uh, pick it up. Why don't I just turn it upside down? It's kind of heavy. This weighs 30 pounds. And it's big and bulky. Alright. So that take off the styrofoam. Look at that. This is it, folks. This is my first really super fast tower gaming computer I've ever owned. Like I said, since I started my YouTube channel, I've been using a Celeron Windows 8 laptop made by Toshiba. And if you saw my first box opening I did about a month ago, I bought an Angel 2 webcam, 1080p, 30 frames, and it's pretty nice. So here's what it looks like from the front. It's got the uh, USB, some buttons on there for headphones. These are all the jacks. They're covered with plugs, power button. Everything's on the top there. Microphone, headphones, USB, USB, USB 3.0. Oh, these are on-off buttons for those. They're on the back. But here's a, a DVD player where you can uh, burn also. So then here on the back, let's see what it came with. All right, I have to show my face on this camera because it's my cell phone, my Samsung A20. If you want to know, I'm also promoting the Samsung A20. If you'd like to get a phone that's less than $200, it will do everything a $1,000 iPhone will do. Buy the Samsung A20 and never buy another iPhone, okay? I'm not an Apple user anymore. Look at that. 
There's my mouse, a couple of USBs, there's HDMI, there's the monitor plug, there's the faster, that's the 3.0. Uh, here's mics, headphones. Now all of this, this comes with a big super fan in it that was advertised that, that cools it, this one right here. That fan, this thing, because it's a Ryzen, it's a four core processor, so it's got four cores and I think that means it has, what, 16 pins? Is that right? Somebody might know. But the, the UPS driver was telling me the good thing about this computer, if you want to upgrade it, this comes with the, the NVIDIA GTX 1050 card, which is about a year and a half, two-year-old technology. The new one, I believe, is the 1080, GTX 1080. He said, but if you want to upgrade the card to PC, you can upgrade your card. And also on the Ryzen CPU itself, that four-core, if you want to get the new 8-core, he said they make the same design for the plug, so you can just pull out the old CPU chip and plug in your new one and use your same motherboard. So this, this computer is completely upgradable to the latest technology for the next year or so as it comes out. It should be way more than enough for a YouTuber who wants to live stream without flaws and edit three, four times faster than... It's going to be 16 faster with some of the things I do. So that's it. Look at this. It's actually see-through on one side. You can see in there, there's a bag. A sheet of paper says, the free $10 Amazon gift card for a gamer. Uh, do these come off? I need a screwdriver. That's it, though. Let's, let's end that here for the uh, box opening. Isn't that cool? Smells new. I can smell it all. You ever open a book and you like to smell, I like to smell the binding on new books right after they've been bound and printed. It's got that smell of brand new electronics. But you can see this whole thing. I bet it's going to light up and I can watch it working. I'll have it, I'll have it under my desk, but it's fun for a guy who's never had a gaming computer before. But this is it. And I'll tell you what this cost me, okay? This was on Amazon from the seller that I found, which was called Average PC or ABG uh, PC. It was $479, and they charged me some sales tax by state, and so it came out to be like $512. So for $500, I got this, for a YouTuber, state-of-the-art gaming computer. Not for a gamer, but for a YouTuber who wants 1080p at 30 frames per second on his flat screen old television, and to be able to live stream and edit video super fast. This thing is going to be amazing, and I can't get it to. I can't wait to get it running. I'm probably going to edit this box opening on it once I get it going, because I don't want to do it on my Toshiba laptop. <laughs> it's just going to take too long. So now I've got to get the software and everything loaded up on my other. Look at that. There's another HDMI port. There's more things going on here. Is that the new? Um, that's that new monitor plug. What do they call that? AVI. But my television doesn't have that. I think to hook up my monitor, I'm just going to use the HDMI socket here. So I was hoping it came with the cord. There's another bag of goodies inside in here, and I don't know what's in there. That might just be the silicate. I have no idea what's in there, and I can't get in there because of the screwdriver that I need. But I don't want to waste your time. But isn't that exciting? A brand new computer and it's an AMZ, AMD Ryzen. The, U, the UPS driver told me that AMD is surpassing Intel in CPU chips on motherboards now these days. They're outselling Intel. And I believe it. I actually built an AMD computer about 18 years ago when I made a Pentium out of a 486. <laughs> that tells you how old I am. But I know how to build these things if I wanted to. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the box opening. Have a great day. Come back. Please hit like, subscribe, come back and see some of my other videos and see some of the topics I cover. Bye.